In this video, we are going to see the meaning of business analytics, the key components involved, the features of business analytics, and also the life cycle. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavya Shabu, founder of Research Dreams, where we aim to provide research services and career consultation. Meaning of business analytics? In one simple sentence, we can say that business analytics is the processing the data using statistical methods and technology to support decision making. Now let's see this definition in three different parts. That is the first one, processing the data. Here processing the data means data cleaning, data filtering, sorting and then enhancement of the data. Once that is done, the next step is using statistical methods and technology. This can include using of R, Python or Excel or SPSS and then using statistical tools like like mean, median, mode, standard deviation, regression, ANOVA or any other forms and from that whatever results we get that through that how we are able to support the decisions that is the scientific decision making. This de decision making is also known as data driven decision making. Business analytics comprises of four major components, the descriptive analytics, the diagnostic analytics, the predictive analytics and the prescriptive analytics. The descriptive analytics asks the question, what has happened, which is the historical data. For example, we have the data of sales of different states. So we can do a state-wise comparison or a year-wise comparison and get to know how the state performance is going on in this year. The next one is on the diagnostic analytics. So here the question we ask is why did it happen or what is the root cause of this happening? So this is the situation wherein we point out as to what has happened and why it is happening. For example, we are losing customers and we need in a particular state and we need to know why that is happening in that state. This uh, could be addressed through diagnostic analytics. The third one is the predictive analytics. In the predictive analytics, the question asked is what will happen? If this situation or scenario is falling forward, what is the projection towards the future? Will it be go projecting an upward trend or a downward trend? So this can be analyzed through different methods that we will be looking on to later. For now, what we will do is understand through an example how predictive analytics can work. Here, for example, we found that retaining a customer is more costly than finding new customers. So if finding new customers are easier, then though we are losing a lot of customers currently, if we are able to catch a new leads in a progressive manner, then we could find that the projection is going towards the profit. The fourth one is the prescriptive analytics. Here we will mention as to what could be done or what should be done. So this is the stage wherein a recommendation will be given off, which is a scientific one based on all these analysis made. We can also take help of generative AI to help us assist in finding the right answers and recommendations. In this case, for the example we are taking is again of the sales. And since we have seen that new, leading to new customers is the profitable manner or the profitable way that is found forward. So what we can do is give scientific recommendations as to how we can network and tap new customers. Now moving on to the key features of business analytics. The first one is data driven decision making. Since as we have learned it through this meaning of business analytics, we know that it is the processing of data. So here, as the words itself suggest in the feature, it is a data driven decision that is being made. For example, in the earlier days, advertisement was given to the public lot as a whole. So advertisements were made through TV, radios, papers or just as posters. But that is not the case right now. Now we have Google Analytics, social media analytics and many other tools through which we can actually identify the right customers or the potential targets for leads for us and based on that we can give the advertisement focusing only on them. The second one is enhanced decision making. 
through the data that we receive once the analysis is made and decision is made on this basis it is more of an informed choice that is the scientific decision making that is being made thus reducing the trial and error approach the second one is on precise customer understanding through the algorithm and analytics we get a complete understanding on the customer behavior and on that basis a precise understanding is made and exactly those are being marketed to them the next one is on operational efficiency business can concentrate more on a particular item alone this also results in cost reduction for example identification of bottlenecks and inefficiency and areas for improvement within the business thus all the resources or most of the resources can be in invested more into these processes the fifth one is innovation and product development once we have a complete understanding on the customers and what their needs are the products can be modified or innovated and developed accordingly the next one is competitive advantage having a precise customer understanding operational efficiency and innovation and product development will eventually result in a competitive advantage the next one is on risk management analyzing the historical data helps us understand where the underlying risk are and we can take preventive measures and mitigation measures for that the eighth point is on strategic planning and forecasting as we had mentioned before through analytics we can do projections and forecasting and plannings can be strategically made understanding the forecastings that is going to be happening the ninth one is on personalization and customer engagement a complete understanding on the customer behavior helps us to cater according personally according to that person's need and then we can actually market or retain the customer for a longer period of time using this customer engagement techniques the next section is on data analytics life cycle data analytics is a continuous process thus giving it a life cycle diagram the there are major six elements that involves in this which includes objectives understanding the data data cleaning and transformation data enhancement data analytics and data visualization moving on to the first one objective here the two elements that we look into is this is where we define what problem we want to address and we try to address it through making the objective in a smart manner which means setting specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound objectives then second one is on understanding the data here what we mean is we have to identify the right set of data that is required for our objective eliminating all the unwanted data and then the second one is on exploring the data and identifying the gaps and limitations that our current data has after that the next step is data cleaning and transformation this is addressing the missing data what to do with those fields whether to delete or eliminate the entire row or column or to put in some assumed values or figures based on some assumptions also data transformation has to be made by standardizing the data wherein for example like some fields will be recorded as delhi while some as a dl and the other as new delhi but all the three are the same so one standard format for all these fields would help us in analytics the next step is data enhancement apart from the data that we have already received or collected we can also add additional fields to it for example suppose we have fixed cost and variable cost in our hand and also the quantity that has been purchased so using this data we can also find total cost and marginal cost this helps us in enhancing the data quality also the next step is data analytics this is using the right technique and tools here technique means the research methodological techniques that we can use that is regression creating a network or creating a model and model testing etc and for tools we have over here in the beginners section that we can go for excel power bi tableau or spss in advanced analytics and machine learning if required we can go for python r or tensorflow and for big data processing it is the sql spark or hadoop
and after that the next step is data visualization once we have all the analysis and we have found some critical information or uh, in critical findings through these analysis those have to be visualized and placed in a dashboard in such manner that the most relevant ones will be the eye catching ones and the other information will also be surrounding those the next the steps does not end here though these are the six elements beyond that the other things that goes around this life cycle includes interpretation in and insights which is keeping in context to objective how to derive actionable insights after that we have the decision making that will be made by the top management or the senior level management and continuous improvement which is to be made through constant assessment and refinement incorporating feedback and learning if you found my video to be informative click like and subscribe and if you want a one on one consultation with me ping your mail id in the comment section below and check out my website to know more about the other services being provided by us